In this update, there are a few new features to improve your workflow. Under the Add-on tab, change the UI tab name to your liking or merge with other UI name to make the viewport clean and organized. In addition, there are a list of commonly used operators. When you first install the add-on, they are disabled. I recommend enable them, modify them to fit your habit, and save preference. Make Anime Hair will apply bevel and taper preset to selected curve object. Under Adjustment tab, you can change the width, bevel profiles, resolution, even modify existing bevel objects. When you are happy with the result, you can turn the curve object into mesh object and all the related objects are deleted. Please note, the vertices on the tip are not merged. One quick way to add curves is to convert particle hairs into curves. However, the default points are too many. Use, convert to Bezier and decimate to reduce the control point. The default profiles are made based on these world settings. If you find it too small, scale the objects and source file inside the add-on folder for better fitting. Another way to quickly populate hairs is to use the new modal operator. There are two curve presets to choose from. Select a mesh and you can manually plant single hair strand on the mesh surface. At the bottom, there is description such as W and S to scale, Z to remove previous planted hair. Right mouse click or press escape to cancel. Spacebar or enter to confirm. Beside the Bezier curve, there is a NURBS curve preset as well. When you select a curve, you can create a chain of bones based on how many curve points it has. It could be useful to apply some bone dynamics to the hairs. Here are some handy operators to manipulate curves. When set up as hotkeys, it will make life a lot easier. Last but not least, if you have a specific bevel profile, you can save it to source file with a click of button.